And we begin with this. The Bell Jay's mother and father devastated. Their daughter died of an accidental overdose days before her high school graduation. Her graduation was set in less than one hour from now. And WDSU reporter Aubrey Killian is live in Bell Chase with that story. Aubrey. Hey, Stella, so Haley Dykeman was an honor student right here at Bell Chase High School. She was set to graduate right here tonight, but instead her parents, they will be accepting her diploma. It's these priceless childhood videos. You put lipstick on? And high school senior pictures of 18-year-old Haley Dykeman that her parents, Allison and Jesse, are holding on to the night of her graduation. It's going to be a hard night uh, to know that we're having to accept it and she's not there to walk across the stage to get something that she worked hard for and that she earned. I wish she was still here with us tonight when she was walking that stage. It hurts my heart. Haley loves school, work, and spending time with friends and family. She was already enrolled in fall classes at UNO. But on Friday, May 14th, her parents say Haley and a friend who they were not familiar with made a horrible decision. She had a friend over and they went to buy what they thought was a $30 Percocet. They were gonna share it and it wasn't a Percocet at all. It was a street drug laced with fentanyl. So just half of that is what took Haley from us. Later that night, Jesse found his daughter in her bedroom unresponsive. He says the friend was convulsing. I happened to go in and, and find my daughter and try to give her CPR. The night that I found her in the room, I just got out of the shower and I just peeked my head in to check on him. And that's when I found her body. Haley died days later at the hospital. The friend survived. If you could speak to any parent who might be watching this story right now, what would be your message to them? Just talk to your kids and let them know that there's nothing safe off the street. It's not worth it. I mean, Haley suffered a great loss. She had her whole life in front of her. Just um, be the parent, don't be the friend. And the tragic incident happened on Allison and Jesse's 20th wedding anniversary. The day will never be the same, but they would give anything to see Haley smile and face the night of her high school graduation. I tell her I'm sorry. I tell her I'm sorry. And then I wish I could have been there and stopped her from taking this pill. So quite the emotional story. The suspected drug dealer in this case has been arrested and is facing a murder charge as well. Reporting live, I'm Aubrey Killian, WDSU News.